Hey warriors, I'm going to quickly show you how to set the Pendabot on your Git repository and what are the benefits of having it. Let's go! Welcome to my GitHub account. These are my repositories and we are going to enable the Pendabot for my Orkish AI Next.js framework. From the Git repository, we are going to click on security and there we have the Pendabot alerts and currently by default they are disabled. So here the definition of dependabot alerts is that we are getting notified when one of our dependencies has a vulnerability. Let's click enable dependabot alerts and now we have bunch of options. What do we need to enable here? First of all we definitely need dependabot alerts. So this is receiving alerts for vulnerabilities that affect our dependencies and manually generate dependabot pull requests. Then we have Dependabot security updates, which is enabling the option that will result in Dependabot automatically attempting to open pull requests to resolve every open Dependabot alert. And this one is beta. I'm still not using this on my projects, but the next thing, the Dependabot version updates, this is really useful to allow Dependabot to open pull requests automatically to keep your dependencies up to date. So the group security updates, it sounds really cool, but it's still beta and until it's not alpha, I'm probably not going to use it. So let's go and enable these three Dependabot alerts. So Dependabot alerts, then Dependabot security updates, and the third one is version updates. And here you see we cannot press commit changes. Here we need one little trick and this one is like probably a bug from GitHub. You see we cannot press commit changes. So we need to press anything like space and then backspace and then we can commit our changes. So this one is creating a commit for dependabot. We commit it. And we have our dependabot file that we created. So now we have enabled our dependabot on our Git repository. So now our setup is finished. If we go to security, you see that dependabot alerts are enabled. So next thing that would happen is in pull requests, if there are any security updates, some known vulnerabilities to dependabot or some versions that are needed, it will create automated pull requests that will keep everything updated. Make sure to enable Dependabot on your repository, Warrior. It's highly valuable and surprisingly simple to set up. And if you want more insights like this, subscribe.